Hello, and welcome to another episode with the Autistic Angler. Today, I'm going over to the harbour to dig some worms, and I'm fishing this tonight on the beach. See if I can find some worms because they'll be deep this winter. Yeah, some casts around. Do you know what? I'm just going to head for the, the cast and see if I can get anything out. I'm only after whiting tonight, so. This way, I'll be all right. So, all you're looking for when you turn them over is the tails sticking out of the mud, or the whole worm if they come out. So, those weren't too deep, so there's another one. Oh, there's a few here. There's one there. One there, one down in the hole. And there's one there. Do you know what? Didn't think it was going to be this uh, productive. I do like digging a trench once I've started because it's easier to get your fork in and turn it over as any, any of you will know if you've dug an allotment or dug for worms I often find that I end up digging a trench and then going along the side of the trench because it will have an open side then a small one
another stone. Yeah, particularly stony there. House brick. And what's that? That is too small for me. And I think that's a, a baby harbour ragworm. So he goes back in the hole. Yeah, I think I'm going to go out the other end of this trench now because this is getting very stony down here. And no worms. Move that bit of metal. See if we get anything down this end. Oh, that's a bit wetter. Yeah, there's quite a few over here, so I might extend around that way. It gets hard digging if you've got a lot of stones to dig, dig up as well. Bring the bucket over this side. Oh, there's another big fat one just there. That's something you've always got to do. You've always got to look back in the hole or back along your uh, pile. See if there's any that have crawled out that you've missed. There's another little harbour rag, but there's a load of. Yeah, if I can get enough, I'll use the worms tonight and on Sunday, because we've got a trip planned on Sunday. So carry on watching my channel, and you'll see where we're off to. And that's all because uh, a subscriber has offered to meet me there. Right, so I've done my trench. So now, come down the side of the trench and turn this. Now this spoil will be turned into the hole of the last trench. There's one. Right, oh, it's quite hard talking and digging, so I'm going to shut up and just get on with some digging. I don't know how many that is. 
but that would be enough for a session. And a few broken ones there.